A nearly $300 annual fee may be coming for electric vehicle drivers in Pennsylvania. Fox 43's Ryan Yee has more on the new potential cost to EV owners and what lawmakers hope it'll bring to the Commonwealth's infrastructure. $290 could be soon coming out of the pockets of Pennsylvania electric vehicle owners every year. Senate Bill 656, sponsored by Republican Senator Greg Rothman of Cumberland and Perry Counties, has passed the Senate Transportation Committee 13 to 1. It would require EV owners to pay that fee either annually or through monthly payments to help fund PA's bridges and roads. Sometimes we take for granted that we start up our cars and drive to work and we don't think about what we're driving on top of. This is about making sure that in the future we have the infrastructure resources to maintain those roads and bridges that uh, are so important to us. The annual fee would replace the current alternative fuels tax, which lawmakers say is complicated to file and often not paid by owners. Right now, only about 10% of EV owners in Pennsylvania make that payment. We're going to share the costs of roads so we all benefit from it. So if we're asking the taxpayer to contribute to these things, we should make it as easy as possible. At the $290 price tag, Pennsylvania would have one of the highest electric vehicle fees out of the 33 states across the country that enforces one. However, lawmakers say the high price matches the same tax gas-powered vehicle owners must pay at the pump. The reality is that it's the way we've chosen to fund our roads and bridges in Pennsylvania is through this really a user fee. The people who don't have cars don't have to pay it. And I think it's a small price to pay to be able to use and have safe roads and bridges in the Commonwealth. However, lawmakers who oppose the bill say the high annual fee may deter people from purchasing EVs in the future, impacting both the economy and the environment. Senator Lindsey Williams of Allegheny County, the lone senator to vote against the bill, said in a statement, quote, I heard from the national experts who stressed the importance of striking the balance between making sure EV owners pay their fair share for the wear and tear on our roads, while also keeping EVs affordable for the sake of both our environment and our economy. The fee in Senate Bill 656, one of the highest in the country, doesn't strike that balance. The bill now heads the full Senate for consideration. Ryan Yee, Fox 43 News.